Hi, this is Cass from Mosley Cass Plays, and welcome to part 37 of my Criminal Empire challenge. So, we're just really quickly visiting with Maya's household. Now, Maya, as you'll recall, lives with Logan, who is Nadia's cousin, and her mum, Jenny. Turns out she also lives with her little half sister. I didn't know that uh, Jenny had gotten pregnant. You know, I do a little bit of playing after I record most times because I, um, you know, age things up when there's things going on with other characters like the bears and that kind of thing. I, I, you know, I move things around, do stuff, maintenance. So I, oh honey, you were meant to be, oh, she's helping through the wall. That's nice. Uh, let's imagine that that makes sense. So this is Little Autumn. She generated with that name, but I think it's super cute. So we're keeping it. Now, Autumn is actually the child of Jenny and Saul Gardner. Now, I thought that if she were going to end up with a member of the Fixers, that it would be Logan, who is the sexy bodyguard that she lives with. But no, she's hooked up with the other one. Now, she actually has romance with both of them. So I expect Logan's probably feeling a little bit hurt right now. So obviously old relationship with Alex, but she's got a little bit of romance with both Saul and Logan. I expect it was a bit of a drunken hookup. Jenny, obviously, in the past had a little bit of a drug addiction of some kind. She used to work as a nurse and was a little bit addicted to the drugs that she had access to as a nurse and she's off all that now which is great but i suspect you know alcohol was involved because they don't have a very high romance it's not like her romance with him is like up here it's not a relationship it was a hookup autumn is gorgeous let me just show you her i'll just put the wall up sorry maya leaving you out on the balcony she's a real precious little one um, Maya is a breathtaking sim and I feel like Autumn is going to be as well. So Maya's reeling a little bit from suddenly having to share her space, I guess. I've extended the house. So I this little bit here is an extension. She's kind of got a long, narrow room. This is a CC bunk bed, by the way, and I tested it and it does work. And I'm very excited by that. It's a toddler bunk bed. Anyway, I think Panda Summer, if you're looking, Panda Summer made the bunk bed. I don't know about that particular bedding. It could have been anybody. I have a few of them, but I, Maya's room is, I've met, grown it up because I think last time we saw it was when she was a child. So it's a bit more grown up than it used to be. It's still, you know, heavy on the yellow and the pink. I think that's just her personality. But, oh, she's got a little door that leads out onto, like, a private balcony now. I did actually look at options for putting a ladder in here, but it got a little complicated. I think the balcony would have to come out one more square and then the ladder would have to go down the side. Because I thought, you know, teenage girl, I was imagining, like, climbing down a trellis or something, like they do in the movies, you know, when they're going out to hang out with vampires or save the world or whatever so yeah that's kind of where that's at so i just thought i'd introduce you to little autumn obviously she's not in the family tree on the plum tree app because that is strictly speaking descendants of michaela this is a half sister of a descendant of michaela she's actually not that far off being an elder jenny so this is a you know probably surprise you know, she's in her 40s, surprise pregnancy, uh oh, that kind of thing. Anyway, we're going to move on to the next household because we've got a few visits to do and I will catch you guys there. So I've just popped into build mode real quick so I could make it light because it is currently the middle of the night. This is a little house in Brindleton Bay. I downloaded it from the gallery. And if I just pop the walls down, you can see it is a little two bedroom place. Now I figured... This is where Lottie has moved. So Lottie, as you'll recall in the last part, had gotten pregnant to Zane and kept the little baby. So she's an eco warrior type. 
She's a green fiend. She's very interested in the environment, but I think she's also not afraid to use less legal tactics to achieve the end result. She's that kind of personality. You think Eco Warrior, and that's Lottie. In a nutshell, and I think she saw Zane and saw Warrior, maybe realized, didn't realize he wasn't, she either thought he, she could bring him on board with the Eco thing, yeah, maybe she can, or she just didn't, you know didn't care. <laughs> she was, let's be real, she was using him for the woohoo. I don't know that I think she intended to get pregnant, but I think it's worked out pretty well for her that she did, because this is the house that I actually have. I don't think I've subtracted the value yet. Did I? Oh no, I did, because I, when I moved her and the baby out, I actually gave them, I think, 40,000 smolians. So, she the money she's got left this place is worth just under 30 the money she's got left is the remainder of her child support obviously we've been selling paintings and things so we're still doing fine and alex is earning i think five thousand simoleons a pop so he's come over to visit lottie make sure she's settled in okay check on the kid i still don't think he's super comfortable with the whole having a baby thing but i'll have him come over and just, we're making small talk about the weather. Now, he's got classes tomorrow. He's got one at 11 and one at 3. So, I'm, and tomorrow's fr Friday, or it's actually today in game is Friday. I downloaded the house from the gallery, but then I completely redid it in Lottie's style. And I actually really like how it's come together. Anyway, I figured he's come over to see her. Maybe she, he thought she, they might woohoo. Clearly, they're both too tired for that kind of shenanigans. Zane is the kind of entitled dude who would do this. Wake up. <laughs> hey, you awake? <laughs> She's like, well, I am now. Okay, I actually want him to do a frenzied kiss. You're not too angry to do that. By definition. Uh, I was thinking an angry woohoo, actually. Oh. I mean, she doesn't seem to mind. He's too angry to woohoo. There is an angry woohoo interaction. I'm very confused. Why is it not? Why is it not available? Hmm. Well, she's bored with his frenzied kiss. Uh, I feel like this. They are boyfriend and girlfriend, but I feel like this relationship isn't going to go great. I'm not going to lie. Go take a cold shower. See if you can calm down. Lottie, take care of the baby. <laughs> okay. Well, that's clearly not working. So we're going to go bottle feed it, partly because I can't stand hearing it cry, but also I say it. In my mind, these are objects. I'm not saying Amber isn't it. She is a girl, but when she's a toddler, she'll be a real girl. And until then, she's an it. So <laughs> I'm sorry, Amber. But yeah, I actually really want to age her up. I, I guess I could do it now. It's probably a little bit early because she's younger than Nadia and Ashley's daughter, but... I can't imagine that we're going to be back here uh, imminently. I'm going to play, what I'll do is I'll age her up. We'll note that it's a bit early. She should be a bit younger. And then we're I was actually planning on going to visit Ashley and Nadia and age up their baby. All right. Happy early birthday, Amber. <gasps> She's got her daddy's hair. She's going to be a precious little bean. All right. Let's go and give her a lightning fast makeover. She's probably going to move us across into Lottie's household. It usually does that. But that's okay because I'll quickly switch back and get Zane to class. I just don't want Zane to miss class. All right, let's take a look. She's got her mama's eyes by the looks of things. Yep, mama's eyes, daddy's hair. She's going to be precious. And she's aged up with the clingy trait. That's just what you want. All right, you guys, this is little Amber. I think she is a precious bean. I did change her hair, although oh, that doesn't look super great with that little hoodie, does it? I really like this hoodie. It's like a little squirrel on it, but that's okay. I almost put her in this shirt because I think it's gorgeous, but then I'm like, well, it's winter. There's <laughs> snow on the ground. Her everyday should probably not be a t-shirt, but I'll just quickly go through her outfits so you can see them. I think she's adorable. Zane did good. I may be wrong, but I feel like this is going to be a little girl not to mess with. She's super cute. Look at her face. 
So precious. Now, I did just give her room a really quick makeover. I put this basketball hoop in and then I forgot I'm not playing her household because I've never used it before. It's a Pandasama CC item and it's like the kids, the toddlers will actually play basketball with it. But obviously, I can't actually, you know, have her do it myself. And he's got class in an hour. So I feel like he was hoping there'd be a little bit of woohoo, but... She did not seem very interested in that. All right. Well, he's got class. I, like I said, I do want to go across to Ashley and Nadia and age up their little girl as well. Plus in this part, Alex wants to track down, like Lily's got an address for Soren. So Alex still wants to go and talk to Soren. So we've got a bit to do. We're going to keep moving, but say hello and also goodbye for now to the first grandchild of or great-grandchild of Michaela. Wow. Great-grandchild. Oh my goodness. All right, you guys, we have arrived in Ashley and Nadia's house. You'll see it. Nadia is in her exercise gear. I'm actually going to move her across into... I gave her an everyday outfit, which is like her I am healing outfit. So... It was tricky to try and make it look like she'd been shot. What I really wanted was a bandage that went like across the torso underneath clothes, but I couldn't find any CC like that. So I've gone with like facial bruises and things. And then of course she changes straight, straight back out. It's great. I think it's cute. She's trying to do chores and help around the house. And Ashley's going to be like, honey, stop. You're supposed to be healing. The doctor told you to take it easy. Let me cook you some dinner. Uh, in the meantime, Giovanna's in her room listening to music and chatting on the computer, I think, to Maya. She's like, you've got to let me, like, do stuff. I can't, you know, you've been raising the baby and, like, doing everything around the house. And Ashley's like, yeah, but I love you and I want to do that for you. So just sit down and let me, let me help you. So she's gone to go to bed. Oh, but you got to eat first, honey. So Ashley is not only raising her daughter, which I think she's very excited about. She's not, I wouldn't say mothering, but she's definitely looking after Nadia. Now, you have to remember with Ashley, she spent her entire adult life looking after everything her brother and his family needed because of the rules of the challenge. And she, I think, would find that really hard to break. She'd be like... Let me clean, let, you know, especially because Nadia is injured. She'd be like, let me do everything. And Nadia's like, well, aside from anything else, you've got to get Giovanna to help you because otherwise you're setting her up for like failure or a life of, you know, thinking other people will do everything for her. She does need to learn to be self-sufficient, which I think all of which I think is fair. Now, I think it's time we're going to age up little <laughs> Natasha. Giovanna, are you hungry, honey? She's having a great old time in here. This is pretty cool, actually. I The loft beds, I wish that they had an alternative that was like beautiful, natural, earth tone type alternative. It's annoying you can't use this space underneath, but I do like being able to use the room a bit more. Oh, Ashley's like all over it. She's like, yeah, I can do this. All right, can I get you to bottle feed her since your wife has gone to bed? So Natty is the first one awake and she's taken advantage of the fact that Ashley isn't hovering to like take out the rubbish and all that kind of thing. I was actually just thinking there is one more kid we need to age up and I haven't been to that house in a while and that's little Kayla, Carissa's daughter, Carissa and Bruce's daughter. She should probably be a child fairly surely, but I was actually thinking maybe I'll do that in the next part and we might have a little bit of a little bit of an episode where we focus on Carissa so let me know what you think of that idea Ashley's just gotten up and been like hey honey and oh are you oh you've gone in to celebrate I was like is she going in there to give her a kiss give her a loving hug and then we're gonna come in here and we're gonna age up Natasha Nadi is parenting level two Ashley's actually parenting level five she's had quite a bit of practice being in the household with Zane and Jason and Matt, uh, Addison. I almost called him Madison. <laughs> so many kids. It's very exciting. Now, like I said, Natasha is actually a little bit older than Amber, but I've just done them back to front. 
She is fussy, tiny troublemakers who love to cry, cause trouble and throw fits. But being noticed makes them happy and helps them overcome negative (laughs) moodlets. She does have her birth mum's hair. Does she have her... Oh, I think that's... Yeah, that's definitely Ashley's eyes. It's like the opposite of Amber. That's very cute. All right. Let's give her a quick little makeover because obviously we need to. All right. This is little Natasha after her makeover. She, you can tell, has inherited Ashley's jaw. So she's going to be a really interesting combination of both her parents, I think. But she's very, very pretty. So I'll just zoom out and show you. Now, I figured since both Nadia... Nadia leans toward blacks and reds, but primarily blacks. Ashley, again, really, really quite digging the black. These two have their, their, they share the same style. So I've put little Natasha in black. I think she is a precious little angel. So, and I've also, like, for the most part, avoided skirts because I figured both Nadia and Ashley are very physical, practical sims. And they're like, well, skirts aren't practical. Like, I mean, this is the one exception, but it's quite short. Oh, I didn't realize she also had socks on. It's quite short. And because she, she's got leggings on, you know, that it's effectively a long shirt and pants. So, you know, I figured she's the same with that one. She's a practical little angel. So I feel like at the moment, Maya and Giovanna probably are bonding a little bit over the fact they're both living with toddlers which I don't know if that would make Addison feel a bit left out in the girl gang or if Addison would just be like, oh, thank God it's not me. I want to have Ashley pick up her little one. Oh, Nadia's is like, nah, I'm all over it. I will have to obviously renovate her room as well because she hasn't got any toddler stuff. The other thing I was thinking is that they are likely to keep Natasha's hair fairly short. Again, for practicality reasons, unless Natasha, as she gets older, turns out to be like, no, I want really long hair. All right, you guys, I'm finally testing that basketball hoop. Look how cute it is. And then she falls over. She's such a sweetheart. Look at her. She's like, I can do it. Yeah. All in one. No, wait, that's golf. <laughs> Why do I know about sport? Sports ball is not my thing. But this is very cute. I'm just, it's such a tiny room. I'm trying to get a decent camera angle so you guys can see. This room is like, what, two by four or three by four? It's very small. No, no, you missed. But she didn't fall over that time. This also gives movement skill. It's very cool. Very cool object. Oh, no. Oh, honey. I like your resilience, though. Panda Sama CC. Strongly recommended if you do CC. Now, I just want to get a little screenshot of her face for my family tree now like i said i do need to age up kayla as well but i think i'm going to do that separately kayla is older than natasha or amber or autumn kayla was born first so i will have to do that but i think that's going to be a big to do i think carissa with her little princess is going to be like you know throwing a huge party so i think we'll do that in the next part all right, we're back in Alex's house, and I just discovered he's only got seven days until he becomes an elder. Oh, my God. <laughs> Which means Ashley. Oh, I'm not ready for I I can see Alex as an elder, like the grumpy old kind of head of the family. Like, I see that. I really struggle. I mean, maybe it's just because she just had a baby, but I really struggle to see Ashley as an elder. So Alex is actually going to go out. So Lily has been confirming she still can't find anything on Shark, but Alex has a location for Soren. So Soren, you remember I mentioned in the last part, he is the one who was a member of the Bears, but left concurrently with Madison and Cassidy. He's hoping that he can flip Soren and get him to help us out. I might actually have him... Jason is clearly... He's a beefcake, but he's not going to be interested. But I might have him... Let's see if he wants to... Like, if Zane wants to come. I actually realised his relationship with Zane is terrible. I, I know Zane is more sympathetic 
ironically, because of what happened with Lottie, but Zane is more sympathetic towards his mum. And in the past, Zane has taken his mum's side on his dad's infidelity. So I'm going to have Alex come out here and be like, Zane, I we have a job to do. Oh, Ashley's shown up. Ashley's like, hey, happy New Year's Eve. And Alex is in the middle of explaining, we have a job to do. And Ashley's like, what is it? And Alex is like, no, you need to go home. Why is she angry? You need to go home because you've got to go look after your wife and your kid. Zane and I have got this and Zane's like, we do. <laughs> so I'm going to have the two of them head out. So the lads have arrived in San Mashino. They're heading up to the apartment building. And as is typical in The Sims, Soren is standing out in the corridor. So Alex is going to come straight in and be like, hey, Jack. <laughs> Soren's like, dude, what? Uh, where's the door? Hello? Hi. I can't. I can't knock on the door. There's no door. This is very strange. Can I go inside? I don't really like the idea of threatening the dude in the corridor. Uh, well, this is Soren's apartment, you guys. Uh, you can see it has three rooms. <laughs> so I guess we're doing this in the corridor. So we're going to, I want to threaten him. Tell me what you know about where Shark is. And Soren's like, nah. Oh my God. Soren's really fighting back. He's angry now. It's like, I don't know anything about where Shark is, man. I left that gang. That gang was a dead end and it was just, you know, gonna go nowhere. Alex is like, well, yeah, you are correct. I'm gonna have him do a Smith apology eventually. Zane's gone off to get some food. Yeah, dad, you got this. I'm gonna go off and get some hot food. Are you angry? Like, are you angry at Shark, basically? And Saren's like, no, it was a good gang while it lasted. Like, he kind of looked after us and stuff, but... You know, he took on a bigger fish than him. Like, he thought he was a shark, and it turned out he was a baby shark. <laughs> do, 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 do. You murdered them. And he's like, well, I'm looking for sharks, so clearly I didn't murder him. Can I pay you to tell me what you know? And Saren's like, well, you can pay me if you want, but I don't know anything. I left when Madison did, because Madison warned me that her and Cassidy were about to book it. I was only sticking around towards the end because of Madison, you know. And Alex is like, are you two a thing? And he's like, well, it's not official, but I really like her. And she's a good, she's a good chick, you know. I joined the gang because I was a low level thug and it was an opportunity. I didn't realize it was going to go so bad. I didn't know Shark was going to try taking on the big fish. I probably should have realized, you know, Shark and all that. But I kind of fell in love with Madison and that's why I stuck around. So when she said she was leaving, I left. I've cut my ties with Shark. Honestly, if he knew you were here and followed you, he would kill me. So can you kindly not tip off Shark to my location? That'd be great. Alex is like, well, I guess I can do that, but you have to promise me that if you hear anything, you'll tell me. Otherwise, and the bit where he leans in and whispers in his ear, otherwise, you know, there might be a fire. You might meet the same fate. And Soren's like, okay, okay. <laughs> These guys are friends. Right. That whole conversation went well. And look at his relationship with his son. Not friends. Anyway, so that's the upshot of that. Soren lives in this sad little apartment here, which I had made over, so I'm sad I can't show you guys. Basically, he's got a juice fizzer in there, and then he's kind of making a bit of extra pocket money, making illegal fizz for, you know, people in the city. I, no, no, he doesn't adore Soren. That's ridiculous. He might find him cute in a, like, patronizing way, like, oh, how cute you thought. You thought you were a proper gang member but you weren't. Come play a round of, a round of b-ball with your son who you don't get on with at all. It's funny because I actually think Zane is the most like his dad out of all of the kids. And I wonder if that's actually why they don't get on that well. I mean, Zane's had a kid already accidentally out of wedlock. He's got the same kind of, he's not evil, but he is hot headed, which is like, Mean is the watered-down version of evil, but hot-headed is, you know, in the family of negative 
kind of personality traits in The Sims. They both have a similar attitude to women who aren't their family. They're both uh, protective of women who are in their family. Like, the whole thing. They're basically cut from the same cloth. But, yeah. Oh, Alex's balls are on fire. I mean, maybe that was the curry. I'm actually going to leave this part here on that note. Uh, like I said, in the next part, I think we're going to do Kayla's birthday and catch up with Carissa because there's a few, a few issues simmering away there. If you've enjoyed, please like and subscribe. You know the drill. Don't forget to wash your hands and I will catch you next time. Thanks for watching.